Megan and I have been married now for three years. Our prayer, even leading up to to the wedding day and, and obviously afterwards was, we really wanted God to use us. I wanted to be a father and I wanted to, um, you know, teach my kids about God. And, and one of our prayers was, you know, for our future family to be warriors for his kingdom. So after Matt and I were married for about a year, um, like most couples, we decided that we wanted to start trying to start a family. Um, we tried for about six to seven months, and after that, I started getting very anxious. And you get the most advice that people tell you to relax, calm down, you know, it's gonna happen, it's all in good timing. Well, after that six to seven months, um, we tried for a few more months, and it was then that we went to see the doctor. So we went through the testing process, and, and obviously that includes both sides. And um, you know, my prayer was, you know, for us to just be healthy and, and whatever, you know, maybe the cause and the issue of it. After our final test is when the doctor called us into his office and sat us down and just nonchalantly said, hey, you guys have less than 1% chance of getting pregnant. It just sucks the wind out of you. It just sucks the life out of you. Um, it was kind of one of an out of body experience almost, um, one where it's, I, I'm going to wake up from this. You know, just in my faith, I looked at that doctor, just in my head, knowing, like, my God's bigger than this. And um, immediately the doctor came back and said that, you know, your only chance of starting a family was through IVF. I felt alone, but yet I felt God's presence. This is what we've prepared for. Um, and let's do it. Like, let's go, Let's let's figure out What's God going to do with this, and how is He going to use us through it? You know, in that moment, you want to try to fix it. You know, what can I do to control this, to fix this? But Matt truly showed me that it's God who has to show us the way. It's God who's going to tell us what we need to do next. I just really felt like the Lord was, was telling us, what are you waiting for? Um, and about a month and a half later, um, Megan started going through the kind of the first rounds of medication and in the, in the first part of the process. So Megan and I leaned on a, a specific verse throughout this entire process, and it's Joshua 1.9, um, which is, Matt and Megan, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Uh, do not be terrified, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you will go. We prayed every single night, thy will be done, and we wanted nothing outside of his, of his plan. And if it meant not having children, we didn't want children. You know, obviously the selfish part in both of us wanted children, but we knew that, that God, if he didn't want us to have children, he would provide in some other outlet. It's a scary place to be, but it was also another change in both of our hearts. We knew that children weren't going to change us. It wasn't going to complete us. It wasn't going to complete me and my desire to be a mom um, because we knew God would fill that with something else for His desire, for His glory. We continued to walk through the long, drawn-out process of IVF, and we came to um, September, and um, it was through uh, 10, 10 days that we waited and fasted. And I remember him and I sitting next to each other, just holding hands when we got the phone call because I knew the number coming up. And I answered it and the lady was like, Megan? <laughs> and I'm like, yes. <laughs> Is this Megan de Blasi? Yes. And I couldn't tell from her voice what she was gonna say. And she said, okay, well, and just in a very nonchalant way, I have some exciting news for you. And immediately, you know, we burst into tears and she told us, you know, that we were pregnant and it was the most amazing feeling. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, and then we just, we fell to our knees and we praised God. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I mean, we danced and we got on our knees and we prayed and we cried and, um, Uh. And we knew that, you know, it was through our faith and, you know, our hearts being changed through this whole process that, you know, God had, God had provided and, you know, it was Him almost saying, thank you for being so faithful. Thank you for trusting in me. 
and now I'm gonna trust you with a new creation.